Do you know that you have power to change the narrative? My name is Jennifer Mitchell Early. I help individuals and teams achieve organizational and personal success. And this is Leadership Matters. Today, we're talking about how you can change or shape the narrative. Narrative is defined by the Oxford Dictionary as a spoken or written account of connected events, a story. Human beings are natural storytellers and narratives have been central to life for thousands of years. Stories and narratives help us to make sense of the world around us, allow us to communicate with others and build long lasting relationships. The stories we tell are based on commonly held beliefs about people, institutions, and society. According to the Social Change Initiative, in the world of social change, the stories that we tell can be an extremely powerful tool in shaping public opinion and influencing policy. Narratives can either liberate or oppress because they can sway the beliefs and behaviors of individuals, which in turn shape institutional policies and practices. Conversely, it can also be fertile ground for individuals to perpetuate dangerous and harmful beliefs. However, if framed in the right way, narratives can be used to communicate with your audience, spark changes in their thinking, and shift difficult conversations in a positive way to create more resilient and inclusive societies. My daughter and I have had conversations about individuals that she's in interacted with in college. Diverse college campuses bring students together that have a variety of worldviews for students to consider and engage with. Some views or narratives can be very narrow and at times offensive. As a young, educated black woman coming to terms with who she is, reconciling her values, morals, and beliefs with society at large, and how she is viewed within that context, she is sometimes challenged by these diverging and often conflicting narratives. What does it mean to change the narrative? Changing the narrative is significant to constructing and promoting new narratives that challenge existing narratives and the associated stories to drive change. When narratives are reframed, a context is created to help generate acknowledgement and consideration. Therefore, it's sometimes necessary to challenge the narratives we hear, to confront people with incontrovertible facts and to share diverging sentiments. While contradiction alone rarely changes someone's belief, it can point out inconsistencies in a narrative, lay bare its underpinning logic, or simply help build a stronger relationship. If nothing else, it demonstrates that you don't take everything at face value, but rather you have knowledge, facts, and depth of experience that supports your views. As a leader and former elected official, I have certainly been in a position to challenge narratives about my community and or team. I've also been in the position where I've been confronted with erroneous narratives on my job or during a project. And like my daughter and some of you, I question whether or not to address it. In the face of growing misinformation and polarization, the Social Change Initiative offers some lessons on how to work toward addressing narrative change. One, understand your audience. Knowing your audience is the first step to understanding and influencing narratives. You must know who you're talking to, their opinions, concerns, and what drives those opinions, values, worldviews, age, socioeconomic status, etc. Without this knowledge, it's hard to have any meaningful dialogue. Understanding the audience enables you to create tailored messages that resonate with that person or group opening the door for positive conversations so that opinions can shift and the dominant narrative can be altered. Two, understand narratives and frames. Narrative change needs to take account of both the existing frame of reference held by the target audience and clarity about how to shift those frames. Frames are stories that people use to make sense of complex issues. The narrative usually encompasses the nature of the problem or issue, what's causing it, who the good guys are, who is to blame, and what the solutions are. 
when repeated and reinforced by people, messengers, that are regarded by a particular group as credible, frames of understanding can become the common sense understanding. A single dominant frame can be reinforced by media coverage and or by politicians and policymakers. Once a particular common sense narrative becomes established, it can be very difficult to shift. Established frames of understanding tend to incorporate biases, often differentiating between the in-group that agrees with us and the out-group which sees things differently. Before attempting to develop messages that engage with those that appear persuadable, it's important to recognize the biases and current frames of understanding that they hold. And three, create actions and messages that are framed by common values. Messages should start by referring to shared values rather than by stating the problem or challenges. For example, in his famous speech, uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. did not start off by saying that he or the USA had a problem. He talked about a shared vision, a dream. He then went on to talk about how that dream could be realized to offer solutions. The focus works best when it's on solutions and what people can do. It has been found that people respond best to messages that adopt a see, feel, change approach rather than an analyze, think, change approach, which is more abstract. Maya Angelou underlined, underlined this when she wrote, I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. See, feel, change. Four principles offered by Opportunity Agenda USA for messaging include, start with shared values, shared humanity, for example, stress how the issue affects us all. Cast your target audience as the hero that can do something significant. Avoid naming and shaming. Guilt tripping generally doesn't work. Offer enabling narratives where people can do something that makes a difference and enables a solution outcome. It's important not to repeat um, opponents' arguments, even to counter them as this can serve to reinforce their narrative. Instead, tell a affirmative stories to counter false information. Stories are important. They have been called the Trojan horse of engagement. The person who tells the story is also important. Authenticity and lived experience is the best. Being the change that you want to see begins with standing up and speaking out. If you found this vi video valuable, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, so others will know it's valuable as well. Don't forget to subscribe, share the video with family and friends, and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload new content. See you in my next video.